Hey guys I'm Papa Joe and back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video on my channel. After showing you some information about the upcoming 4th anniversary a few days ago, new information has recently been revealed that is relevant to the next season and I would like to address in this video. So if you want to know what is most likely in store for us in the upcoming season 10 in the game, stay until the end. I hope you enjoy the video, watch it as long as possible, support my work by subscribing to my channel, giving the video a thumbs up or writing feedback in the comments. Let's jump right into the video. In my last video on my channel I told you that the day before yesterday a new video was published by the Chinese developers of China COD Mobile in which the developers answered some interesting questions that are also relevant to the 4th anniversary for Call of Duty Mobile. When the developers of COD Mobile were asked, why some mythic blueprints look worse than others and why they don't have special features like tracer rounds or custom iron sight. The developers responded by saying that we will most likely see improved versions of the existing mythic blueprints in the game in the future. This means that we can expect improved versions of the mythic Peacekeeper MK2 artifact, the mythic AS Val Double Legend the mythic Fennec Ascended in the future. In the past, the developers have already reworked one or two weapon skins such as the Iron Sight of the Mythic Switchblade X9 Neon Legend almost two months ago. Definitely those who bought the Mythic blueprints like the AS Val earlier will get an upgrade of their blueprint to the newer revised version. Personally, I'm very curious to see what the improvement will look like on the earlier Mythic blueprint. Feel free to write me in the comments which mythic blueprint you think should get an update and why. In the last season 6 Templar's Oath, the developers of Call of Duty Mobile finally added the finishing moves, or some call them executions, to the game after more than 3 years. Currently we have two different finishing moves in the game, the basic version which is usable for everyone and the expensive special version of the mythic Templar character. Will more finishers be added to the game and will it be possible for players to get finishing moves for free? The developers of Call of Duty Mobile answered the question and according to their statements there will soon be new mythic character finishing moves as well as new finishing moves which we can get from future battle passes, crates or lucky draws. In addition, there will also be free finishing moves that players can get for free. Accordingly, we could assume that by next year at the latest, you will have the opportunity to get an epic or rare finishing move from the rank rewards. Because if we remember back then, we didn't have the chance to get an epic emote from the rank rewards until the developers revamped the rewards and now we have the chance to unlock an epic emote. Personally, I'm very curious if the Mythic Spectre character will also get a special execution move and of course feel free to post your wishes in the comments. According to further information from the Chinese developers of COD Mobile, unique weapons will be added to the game in the future, which will be easy to use for any player. In the last Season 8, the new Argus shotgun was released, which was no problem for even the biggest shotgun noob due to its ease of use. As we know, next season we'll see the addition of the new LMG called Brune MK9 which can be converted into an assault rifle with certain attachments. We continue with the next information which was revealed by the Chinese developers the day before yesterday and for which I already uploaded a new video on my channel yesterday. Every one of you is wondering which legendary weapon skin is in the coveted Kurohana weapon crate which is expected to be opened in the next season or two. The developers of Call of Duty Mobile answered the question by telling us that it is a legendary assault rifle that will be revealed at the end of October. The theme of the weapon blueprint will revolve around Black Lotus and it has a beautiful and unique design according to the developers. This means that we will definitely know this month which legendary weapon blueprint is hiding in the Kurohana weapon crate. Feel free to post in the comments which weapon you would like to have a legendary skin for, which will be waiting for us in the Kurohana crate. Last but not least, the Undead Siege Zombie Mode which will return to the game during the current Season 9 Graveyard Shift, will receive new updates in the future. According to the developers of the Chinese version, a new difficulty level called Hell will be added. Moreover, 
The new weapons like Argus, CX-9 or the FFAR-1 will also have the Ether Crystal combo. Apart from that, according to the developers, there are also plans to update the Undead Siege mode and make other changes. When we will see the further updates and changes is currently unknown. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.